the most common way we start debugging is sprinkling console.log in our code. It is very handy. However, if you have a more complex debugging scenario, there are a few types of breakpoints in DevTools that can give you more debugging power. Open the file from the console. Set a breakpoint at the console.log and refresh the page. You can view your call stack to find out how you end up at the current line. If there is a third-party script, you can right-click ignore it to clean up the view. The scope pane lets you inspect all the variables from current block to global level. You can edit the value in the pane or edit it in the console. The console has access to the current execution context. These are the extra power you get beyond console.log. Apart from that, you can use the debugger statement to set a breakpoint in your code. This is helpful, especially if you are debugging dynamically injected JavaScript. There are some websites trying to prevent others from debugging their code using this debugger trick. You can work around by right-clicking on the line, select Never Pause Here. Rerun the step again. The breakpoint is no longer triggered. This Never Pause Here is actually a conditional breakpoint. You can right-click Edit It or use the Edit button in the breakpoint pane to do so. In the editor, you can enter any JavaScript expression. The breakpoint only pauses when the expression returns true. If you are debugging a for loop, this can be very handy. Let's say you just want to pause when the number is 50 or 60. Using the conditional breakpoint can give you exactly that. This saves you energy from countless clicks compared to a breakpoint. So, if you are already in the sources panel and want to lock some values without triggering a breakpoint, you can use lockpoint for that. You can lock multiple values and expressions just like the console.log. Hold the command or control and click on the line. Select lock point and type in our expression. We want to lock the list and the total items in it. That's it. Repeat the step again and bam, the values are locked in the console. Finally, a lot of times, exceptions drive us crazy. You can set the breakpoint to pause immediately when the errors happen. In the breakpoint pane, you can break on both caught and uncaught exceptions. An uncaught exception is an error that is not explicitly handled. For example, this is a typo error that causes undefined exception. On the other hand, a caught exception is an exception that is anticipated and handled. For example, we handled this error in the try cache block. Enable both settings and run the step again. Now, the debugger will pause at these exceptions right away, making it easier for you to start debugging. All right, we have covered five different types of breakpoints so far, but there are more. Let me know your favorite breakpoint tricks in the comments below. We might cover more in the future. In the meantime, you can go to this link to read more about breakpoints. That's all for today. See you soon. Ciao.